back to the comment section. I'm Fred Cooper. So obviously I think you guys know this, but politicians lie. Hmm. That's an interesting way of putting that makes sense. Basically, all the time about lots of things. And usually it is about their white collar crimes, like their insider trading, who they're taking money from, whether they are actually going to vote on the bill that you want them to, whatever. But one man came into Congress and he decided that he was going to shake things up. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have gotten this already, but today we are talking about the scorned ex-Congressman, George Santos. Before we dive in though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. So since the New York Republican, George Santos, was kicked out of Congress last year, he has garnered somewhat of a cult following. Some might even say he is an icon. Here's a taste. Can I list civil rights icons and you tell me what they mean to you? Marsha P. Johnson. Very respectful, honorable person. Respectful and honorable about what? Uh, on all the stances and all the work. This man literally has no idea what he's talking about at any time. And that is why people love him. Nicki Minaj. Queen. You're, are you a Nicki fan? Yeah. Prove it. Pull up in the monster automobile. Gangsta with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. <laughs> Can you also say that you're an icon? I uh, know, you're the icon. No, you're the no, icon. You're the no, icon. you icon. You're iconic. Come icon. On. Icon girl. Girl I boss. I'm gonna say icon again. Icon. You con. <laughs> the best part of that entire video. You con, and you do George Santos. You basically conned yourself into this entire career. And he is a mess, but people love him. I love him, I can't look away. I can't, the content is so good. You guys know I love reality TV, I love that kind of stuff. This is bravo, but DC politics is the best way that I can describe it. Somebody said, how is he so out of touch and so in touch at the same time? Somebody else said, I don't care, I need George Santos to do more media, bro. This guy's hilarious, he is low-key iconic though. Somebody else said, Honestly, give him a talk show. He's gonna get sued, but I'd watch it. I would for sure watch it. Jeremy, I'm pitching this to you later today. You're gonna hate it, but I'm gonna love it. Now, I did an episode about George Santos back in the fall. We can link it below. That is the TLDR. That is what you need to know. His personal past, his shopping habits, where he spent his campaign money, nonprofits he started. New York Post gave a few examples here. They wrote, Santos himself has made a plethora of outrageous claims, including that his grandparents escaped Nazi persecution in Europe and that 9-11 caused his mother's death. In reality, his grandparents and his mother were in Britain Brazil during both of those tragedies, according to immigration records. He also claimed that he was Jewish and then later said, well, I'm, I'm Jewish. And he thought that that was gonna fly. It didn't, shocker. But New York Post went on and said the congressional con man, Yukon, also admitted to the post that he invented nearly his entire resume on the campaign trail, including his claims that he graduated from Baruch College and NYU and worked for financial giants like Chase Bank and Citigroup. Now, some of George Chandos' hijinks were a bit funnier, like he used campaign funds to go on a shopping spree at Sephora, but a lot of his lies were actually very serious and did cause harm to many individuals. But I think one thing that I should have acknowledged when I did that episode was that he did have a good voting record. He's a Republican, he voted on the right stuff, and when he got kicked out for being an embarrassment, he got replaced with a Dem in his district. And so I guess we kind of screwed ourselves over there because let's face it, a lot of politicians are embarrassment and they have done far worse things, but they are still in office and nobody talks about it, but we just had to kick out George Santos, a good voting Republican, but whatever. Like at this point, we kind of just have to work with what we've got, like your health on busy days, which is why I rely on Balance of Nature. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies is the most convenient way to get whole food ingredients daily. You know, like the kind of vegetables that actually count. Balance of Nature uses an advanced cold vacuum process that encapsulates fruits and vegetables into whole food supplements without sacrificing their natural antioxidants. The capsules are completely void of additives, fillers, extracts, synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar, which guys is so hard to find in supplements. So highly recommend. The only thing in these capsules are fruits and veggies. Balance of Nature helps our bodies obtain the necessary nutrients for proper functioning. Replacing deficient nutrients can increase energy levels and provide other health benefits. I mean, imagine trying to eat 31 different fruits and vegetables every single day. That sounds miserable and time consuming, especially when you've got a crazy schedule, that is not gonna happen. But with Balance of Nature, there has never been an easier way to ensure that you get your daily fruits and vegetables. Go to balanceofnature.com and use promo code COOPER to get 35% off your first set of fruits and veggies, and you will get an additional $10 off every additional set you buy. This is an amazing deal. Balanceofnature.com, promo code COOPER. We can all manage our health together, but we watch the country fall apart. But anyway, what is done is done, and it is okay because George Santos has a new amazing career on Cameo. And if you don't know what Cameo is, it is an app where you can buy personalized messages and videos from celebrities. And Santos made an account right after he got kicked out of public office, and his account immediately blew up. Just watch some examples. How are you, darling? I hear that you're getting some tough heat in the press and that life might be a little rocky now. Let me tell you something. 
Screw the haters. The haters are going to hate. Look, they can boot me out of Congress, but they can't take away my good humor or my larger than life personality. Be yourself unapologetically. Just love yourself. Just make sure that you don't buy into the hate and stand your ground and don't let them force you out. Don't let them bully you. You do you, girl. I mean, it's just fantastic. And guys, this was my entire For You page for months. Basically, the second leg of my Budapest trip was just filled with George Santos content. And you know what? I hate to admit it. I loved it. I loved it. I liked every single one of those videos. I was pulling content for this episode and I was like, man, Brett, you really liked a lot of George Santos videos. Like every one that I pulled up, I was like, oop, already liked it. I already have it saved. Somebody commented and said, be yourself unapologetically from George Santos of all people is insane. I mean, literally, like we have no idea who he is or where he really came from because he literally lied about all of it. And yet he's telling us to go be ourselves, but whatever, go off, King. Somebody else commented and said, his cameos are sold out. I'm telling y'all, this was huge, huge at the end of last year. Here's another one. And actually the official cameo account posted this one and made it into a meme. Like again, this was just a huge deal. Keep being that cute, sexy, popular boot bitching girl with great hair that all boys love to stare. You are fabulous. I mean, it's all very uplifting. And apparently he was making like six figures off of these videos alone. Like this was a full-time job for George. Somebody commented and said, I actually don't care how much of my tax money he embezzled or whatever, I love him. Somebody else said, Senator RuPaul. Okay, well, this brings me to my next point and the actual current events part of this whole story. Because I think that maybe the Santos cameo phrase died out recently. Maybe he's not making six figures anymore. You know, it's been a few months. Pop culture changes fast. We've moved on to something else. And so Santos decided to shake things up. And he brought back his drag persona for cameos. You can now get videos, not just from George Santos, but from his drag persona. Here it is. Hey, Club Condo. It's your favorite, Katara. After 18 years in the closet, George Santos pulled me back out. Whatever. Anyway, I hear you're a bunch of little freaks out there and you love to dance all night long like it's nobody's business. You know what? You gotta elevate it. Gotta make it more risque. I mean, it's just fantastic. Completely unexpected, but fantastic. And you know, this version of him, it makes sense. Now, all of this is important because when Santos was in office, he denied constantly that he had ever done drag, even when there are videos and photos of him in drag out there. Exhibit A, here's one, this is the one that went viral. Here is Katara back in the day, I guess 18 years ago, whatever he said. I mean, when he was faced with this evidence, he denied, per usual, like last year, beginning of last year, he tweeted and said, the most recent obsession from the media claiming that I'm a drag queen or performed as a drag queen is categorically false. The media continues to make outrageous claims about my life while I am working to deliver results. I will not be distracted nor phased by this. Like, it is so chaotic. You cannot make any of this up. This is why it has been so entertaining. Like, the photos existed. Allegedly. That was him in drag. Allegedly. And he sat there as it was going viral and was like, categorically false. Never happened. Like, we see it, George. We see it. But anyway, he denied this for so long that obviously when he casually came back and brought Katara out of the closet, it went viral. Somebody commented and said, girl, what is this? Somebody's broke and needs a coin. My thoughts exactly, thank you very much. Somebody else said, imagine Katara in Congress giving all of this sass. I really think it could work. I think it could have been fantastic. I think you should have just owned up to all of it. It would have been an absolute shit show, but it would have been entertaining. Somebody else said, George Santos is going to be the best footnote in some high schooler's AP government textbook in 2050. And you know what? I look forward to that. I truly do. Government and politics never ceases to entertain me. It is quite literally reality TV. And I know that these people have way too much power over our lives and they screw us over time and time again. They are running our country into the ground. But hey, at least we can laugh once in a while. And today we're gonna laugh about George Santos. Well guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.